एम प्रॉपरली ऑडिबल भैया so this is the assignment that we had taken yesterday we completed discussion on step 4 yesterday of exercise 1 in exercise 1 we are trying to observe the self that is consciousness observing the consciousness and in step 1 we try to observe the imagination as it is in particular the feeling without any evaluation without any judgment without any attempt to modify without any attempt to stop it or react to it whatever we try to observe the imagination as it is the feeling as it is and this is something that we have to continue with and this can become a regular practice for us every moment observing oneself whenever you have time whenever you are free of your commitments and you have some spare time for yourself then you can just be there with yourself and observe your imagination in particular the feeling and you can always be aware of the feeling generally we are tuned to be aware of the thoughts whenever we try to be aware also but now we have to get down to the feeling and be aware of that every moment so this is what we try to do in step 1 in step 2 we try to evaluate the feeling to see whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not that is whether i want the continuity of it or not that is is it in accordance with human nature or not in that process i am able to evaluate my feeling and i am also able to be aware of my natural acceptance when i was only observing at the level of thought and was trying to make out whether my thought is acceptable to me naturally or not i could not get a very clear answer but when i am able to observe the feeling and see if it is naturally acceptable to me or not i can clearly see it and i get more clarity about my natural acceptance also i am able to distinguish between natural acceptance and acceptance also in step 3 we try to observe the state of being whether i am comfortable or not whether i am in harmony or not whether i am happy or not isn't it now in step 4 we are trying to see who is deciding my feeling is it me or someone else or the situation outside with that discussion we are trying to make it out every moment that it is me who is deciding the feeling at the level of thought with some analysis we can say that yes it is me but at the spur of the moment if i have to decide who is deciding the feeling I have to make it out then it may take some effort because generally when our feeling gets disturbed we tend to assume that somebody else is disturbing it it's not me and this is a common practice this is a common kind of condition so for the next 24 hours in every incident and interaction with others evaluate your feeling and ask yourself who is deciding this feeling someone else the circumstance outside or myself who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness someone else the circumstance outside or myself and then we have to note down our observation we could also see that once i am able to observe for myself that i am deciding my feeling i can also see that i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness with that i start owning the responsibility of developing myself so that i do not become unhappy i want to be happy every moment i am making myself unhappy so i am doing that because i am lacking some competence in me so i have to develop that competence naturally i start owning that responsibility and another thing that happens naturally with it i stop blaming others for my unhappiness when i own the responsibility for my happiness then i also stop blaming others for my unhappiness so i start getting free of grudges complaints about others nice so this assignment we had what we can do while sharing also some hands are let us first share our reflection of the home assignment that we did yesterday oh yes uh, daily i used to have coffee so yesterday while i was boiling the milk the milk got spoiled immediately 
I was having a feeling of opposition. Why the milk is getting spoiled? Then I came to an understanding that since the milk was kept outside for a long time yesterday, that is why the milk gets spoiled. Once I am able to see this, I was having a feeling. Uh, I was feeling uh, pleasant by him. The disturbance was not there. Then I came out. Um, I was badly in need of coffee, so I was looking for that milkman to get milk. Our old milkman came. So I was asking him half a liter milk. But he said, no, I don't have extra half milk. Then again, I was disturbed. I was assuming that since I dropped him and I'm having a new milkman, I was having the assumption since I dropped him long back, now he's saying no like that. I was having that feeling. Then I was unhappy for a long time, maybe for 10 to 15 minutes. Then I was exploring within myself. Might be that milkman was not having extra milk. That may be one reason. Or he may not be interested to give me. For whatsoever reason, like that, I came to a conclusion. Then I was feeling resolved. Is it fine, Baya? I was uh, able to feel it that I am sure, Baya. And this is how I came to a resolution. Is this fine, Baya? This is my first question. Mm -hmm. Ah. If you observe, you missed one thing. As you said, ah. no, I was badly in need of coffee. Ah. So you missed this part. See, how come it has become a need for which you, know, you are becoming, becoming anxious, you are becoming restless. Ah. So, ah. so some sensation is there for which you are used to. And yes, if you are not yeah. enjoying that sensation, you are getting restless. So mm -hmm. If you look at the complete scenario, initially oh. the feel this uh, milk got spoiled, so you become unhappy, right? oh. and then you got some reason for that. Then you got unhappy with the milkman because he was not giving you extra milk. But essentially, oh. within your you see, you, know, you are conditioned for some sensation. Now, mm -hmm. it's only uh, a matter of chance that this sensation could not be fulfilled. Uh, because of lack of milk. It could be for some other reason also. Maybe you asked somebody to prepare coffee on time and the other did not prepare. Maybe you went to prepare coffee and the gas was not there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the coffee powder got used and nobody informed you on time. So all these mm -hmm. reasons could be true. So one major mm -hmm. thing that you missed out was why I am looking for a favorable situation so badly. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's fine if you take mm -hmm. coffee. I'm not saying that in itself it is you know, something wrong. But if you are trying to fetch happiness out of it, then you become enslaved. And you can just see you know, in all those moments, maybe that happened for about half an hour to one hour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. Because you are trying to fetch happiness through that, through that favorable situation, which is not being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So in exercise two, as we explore, we can see that you know, uh, we might be trying to fetch happiness through some favorable sensation from outside, and then we become enslaved. So I'm not able to observe the sensation as it is. And I'm not also able to observe the meaning that I'm associating to that sensation. So mm -hmm. happen. if you observe closely, so many things happen. Right? Mm -hmm. The milk gets spoiled, but I'm not having that urge for coffee from inside. I will not get that much unhappy. So here mm -hmm. the prime sense of unhappiness be, will be your you know, conditioning for a favorable sensation. So I miss that part of sensation. Yeah. So for that, you have to again explore and investigate you know, why mm -hmm. I become so much dictated by some sensation. You may not get that favorable sensation at multiple times in a day. You know, or mm -hmm. you have gone to some you know, place where this is not available. Mm. For example, if you come to north, maybe in many houses you not find coffee. Generally, people take tea. So mm -hmm. then you may you know, feel bad for the other also. That see, this person called me at home and he's not you know, having coffee also. 
तो सर्व टू मी राम राम कहा रहती हो आज कल जी 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 ओके to somehow try to analyze and accept the situation but it's not that you know you could able, you could be able to see the intention of the milkman so it was not resolved at the level of feeling you try to resolve it at the level of thought with some analysis uh huh so both the things you no know, as we started discussing like we try to fetch happiness through some favorable feeling from others or through some favorable sensation from the body uh um. right so both the things were uh, visible here <coughs> isn't it mm. so we were expecting some favorable feeling from the milkman which could not be met we were expecting some favorable sensation from the body which could not be met and then you try to mm. analyze and settle the things but ultimately it has not got resolved you could only pacify yourself with some analysis at the root the problem remains ah uh, ji bhai suppose so with the thought i came to a conclusion that might be the milkman is not having might be the milkman is not interested to give me that half liter milk uh, so that was one thought yeah how it should be if i should work on the feeling of trust bhai so you can have uh, a dialogue how? with the feeling of trust okay you could very simply say that you could very simply say that my uh, milk got spoiled and somehow ah. i used to take coffee in the morning and i need half a liter more are you in a position to give it to me because when the milkman comes no he is one concern is that yeah. he should not be uh, left with any milk after distribution so they will generally not carry any extra milk if you have to take some extra ah, milk ah. we have to tell them beforehand isn't it so we can be able to see his condition also so it's not that whenever we ask he is able to provide so it's not that he did not intend to give to you because of some reason so with the feeling of trust we can always share our situation with the other and uh, just ask the other get in dialogue with the other is it possible for the other if not then we can go and get a pouch of milk the milkman can easily explain to us and then we can understand his situation also and go and get a pouch of milk somehow if he become opposed to the milkman and for example start shouting on him then from the next day what he is going to do if somebody asks for an extra uh, share of milk he will give to the other and then mix water with the rest of the milk so that the quantity is adequate for the rest of the you know families mm-hmm. which is not a good practice no we can also see that these are certain things you know where people get into unethical things Mm-hmm. so i have to also see for the milkman that if i force him to give me some extra milk mm-hmm. then how will he distribute to the other families then he, he will have to mm-hmm. mix water or something otherwise if mm-hmm. he provide a little less to some family the other family will also be shouting on him it's not that since uh, you feel that he is opposed to me and that's why he is not giving milk to me extra but it's not mm-hmm. true it may be true also but it may not be true also Mm. So generally, start with the assumption that since the other is opposed to me, that's why he or she is not going by my ways, which may not be the case. The other mm. also mm. has, you know, certain concerns, which we have to understand. So one good way to do is I'll place myself in the shoes of the others, and just see, you know, what our concern is going to be. Sorry, boy. One more thing only. This not um, reaching yes, me. Yes. Yes. Had it been with the feeling of trust, how I would have handled for the milkman's response, Baya? If I had a feeling of trust, um, yeah, that's why that I'm saying. not getting, Baya. Ah, uh. I explained that. So I will share my condition to the milkman. But Baya, to be frank, in the morning he is also in rush. He won't 
sit and listen to all my discussions no bhaiya yeah so again with a feeling of trust i can see that he is in a rush so in place of pursuing uh, him we arrange for meal from the uh, market i know that it is not possible for him to give me extra half a liter you know because uh, the quantity that he is carrying is measured he cannot provide me extra so in place uh, of you know insisting upon him uh, i'll just go and purchase from the market if i am able to see this much that he is in a rush he cannot listen to my whole discussion then i'll not Mm. try to pull him also into discussion mm, mm, mm. just ask him that are you in a position to give me some half a liter milk extra right mm. if he say well and good nice so i'll not have any feeling of position have... that means i'm having feeling of trust no it's it doesn't essentially mean see once you have the feeling of trust this will happen but the contra is not contrary is not true if it is not happening doesn't mean that you have trust ensured in you not contrary is converse na no? converse is not true so converse is uh, yeah so it's not that if i'm not reacting i am having the feeling of trust so if i am having the feeling of trust i will not react but occasionally i may not react you know because of some thought some analysis also if i am not reacting it doesn't mean that i have been able to contemplate on the feeling of trust because if i am able to contemplate on the feeling of trust it will continue so today i am not reacting tomorrow i may again react with this person i am not reacting with the other person i may again react so if i have been able to contemplate on the feeling of trust my response will always be there in my behavior but if sometimes i am responding it doesn't mean that contemplation is there in me no it could be there because of some conditioning it could be there because of some analysis that i am doing at the moment and i am not reacting that all is possible mm-hmm. see with the feeling of trust i see the relationship first so before i approach someone for some physical facility i am able to see the relationship the feeling of relationship only i am interacting with the other you just try to you know explore this today mm-hmm. maybe you yes bhaiya yeah. and you just try to see what all conditions the milkman goes through so with a feeling of yeah, trust yeah. i have to empathize with the other also that mm. empathy is there in me and many times we are looking at the other as something quite external to me as something quite mm. different from me isn't okay, it bhaiya ji 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 slowly things bhaiya. are getting clear bhaiya uh, new insights bhaiya yeah Thank but you, do you try to put yourself in the shoes of the milkman and try to mm. explore the whole scenario mm. he is managing his family you know through earning from milk the time he gets up in the morning then the you know things that he has to do in the morning then he has to go for distribution and then multiple mm. people are responding in multiple ways mm. i'm also not saying that the milkman has the right understanding right feeling and should but the competence is lacking on every side on the side mm. of the milk on the side of people who are taking milk from him right and then we can try to see what would be the program to live with continuous happiness if i am into dairy mm. and you know, rearing cows and providing milk to the people what would be my program to ensure happiness in continuity so yeah i uh, sorry uh, i am able to observe uh, uh, my feelings uh, in every incident and every a moment uh, with people uh, i interact with the people but uh, one thing uh, i am unable to come out of from small disturbance because uh, whenever i interact with the people uh, if there is a little bit uh, uh, the past actions where we have some contradictory so uh, some thoughts are rising and recollecting the past actions uh, uh, even though i know that i was i don't want to uh, go through the past actions uh, whatever happened but uh, be in present but uh, those thoughts are uh, uh, coming uh, and uh, a little bit disturbance i have in my mind so i am unable to uh, understand how to overcome this uh, feelings of uh, that uh, disturbance part is concerned yeah we have few things here first of all you need not avoid it Yes. there is no need to avoid any remembrance from the past 
one thing yes. because yes. that is there in you whenever yeah. you are free it will start surfacing up so you do not need to forget it you do not need to ignore it hai na or avoid it right yeah. so let it be there now in those all past situations where you were unhappy uncomfortable right just try to have a look at it see the feeling inside you yes at this moment and in those moments also when you were going through that situation and yes. go through this process the way we are progressing in exercise and go through this process observe whether it is acceptable to you naturally observe whether you were comfortable inside observe ultimately who decided that feeling so many times when we remember the past we are blaming others for our unhappiness yes and then we are reactive inside we are having feeling of opposition inside now you can see as we are exploring step 4 that in that situation also if i became unhappy i was disturbed it was my lack of competence the other was also having lack of competence because of the situation became like that but ultimately if i got unhappy it was my lack of competence so first of all no need to avoid it let it be there and let it come because it will come today or tomorrow ultimately it is there in you it is not yet resolved so let it be there right go yes. over it second thing you are able to see that in that situation also it was my lack of competence because of which i became unhappy yes. and then we can go further three steps 5 6 and 7 the problem arises when i only get reminded of those past situations but i am not able to fix my responsibility i am also not able to see the way to resolve myself if i am able to fix my responsibility if i am able to see the way to resolve myself then whenever it comes next i feel resolved i am settled there i know what happened intention of every human being was pure but the competence was lacking that's why the situation got spoiled i am very much able to see this and yes. because of my lack of competence i become unhappy right and i feared my unhappiness and i spoiled the situation further because yes. in that situation it may be the case that you also had indefinite conduct you misbehaved you shouted you got angry you got irritated isn't it yes. so you can see that also your role in that situation was not naturally acceptable to you now when i am able to see my natural acceptance for relationship harmony and coexistence then i can also see in the same situation what would be the right way to participate Yes. So generally, yes, you see that we are not having the feeling of prosperity in us. We are not having the feeling of relationship in us, right? These yes. two major issues are there because of which situation gets exploited at home, in the office, in the marketplace. So people are either struggling for physical facilities or they are struggling for respect. Yes. And if everyone is struggling for physical facility or for respect the situation is of course going to get spoiled if at least yes. one person is there in that situation who is have able to ensure this within then one will not react yes. one will be able to see the whole scenario and resolve yes so in my case uh, uh, the uh, uh, the past actual thoughts are coming and uh, because i i am able to understand is my responsibility uh, the decision which i take i am only the sole responsible and uh, i want to make uh, the strong feelings of relationship so these are won't stay back long but uh, disappearing but these are getting uh, inside uh, that is the thing uh, i am unable to come out but uh, i am always making good relationship and i feel uh, harmony in my side but uh, they are coming and uh, going away immediately so without yeah. coming uh, that is a problem now but uh, i am not uh, going uh, opposing tendency or anything but uh, so small moment of time uh, they are coming that's that is uh, i am unable to come from that yeah so let it come first of all don't avoid it let it come yes. okay yes. if you avoid it you know, then whenever you uh, get some free time it will again come back so no need to avoid 
and then go through all these steps so evaluate it and then transform it yes there also when you get reminded <clears throat> try to see the feeling in place of the situation that was there yes try to see the feeling also try to see the intention of everyone in the same situation yes. like as geeta didi was saying no so the milkman have the right intention but he has some own some concerns of his own <clears throat> he is thinking yes. of so many things and uh, we also have some concern yes and our concerns are not being met together and yes. both may be trying to get happiness out of some favorable feeling or some favorable sensation which is not being ensured yes for example it is high summer time right here yes. in the north you can see you know, the heat wave is there now for example there is one ac in the house now who will be you know utilizing that ac or who will be there in the room in which the ac is there now this may spoil the whole situation at home so one may either think of purchasing more than one ac providing one ac to every one every person in the house or we may feel like sharing it or we may also see that whether i actually need it or not could there be some alternative or not if i am not able to see all this and then there is some turmoil in the family people start fighting and then they start using and uh, some profane language for each other and you try to remember the situation sometime later right but you are not yes. able to see the basic reasons for that same scenario yes. that people were trying to fetch happiness through favorable sensation and since this was not being made so the feeling got spoiled and then the ill feeling was shared with other and then the whole situation got spoiled and became a war like situation for example so if yes. i am not able to see all these details then whenever i remember this i will feel bad okay i was not earning enough because of which i could not get ac in my every room because of which there was so much disturbance in the family but that may not be the solution yes sir we are not able to see how ac is spoiling the atmosphere outside you know yeah you are not able to see the relationship you are not able to see our dependence on sensation for happiness and then we may merely think of getting more and more physical facilities and feel bad about it so many times when we remember the past also we are not able to see the basic issues we are only analyzing various things and trying to derive solution with some assumptions which are unverified Uh, i was saying with the food only when i was in uh, different countries france uh, switzerland and europe means uh, the um, italy last and abu dhabi so i was not getting angry or irritated whatever it was there i was saying and i was finding the happiness happily i was doing bhaiya so thank you this is my sharing today thank you yeah but this could be because of some favorable sensation from outside you have to observe it Uh, it, I I checked over here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 So thank you, Bhaiya. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Thank you. See, um, but yeah, if I can see these exercise one and step four, that I can see that I was having misconception for last one and half year that I have overcome that I am myself is responsible and. Uh, i i am um, for my happiness and unhappiness and um, i was uh, thinking that i have overcome and uh, not influenced by outside circumstances uh, recently my elder sister expired and last month only and uh, now i am feeling indifferent to each and everything and uh, it looks that everything has lost and uh, somehow uh to be happy every time and not even a single incident is uh, making me happy and i am thinking now that uh, she was the most precious thing for me and all my happiness has gone with her so it's very difficult to accept now yeah so again look into it more closely <clears throat> because you are dependent on hap for happiness on something outside 
so this yeah. happiness is not going to continue and here you will see that i am not looking at happiness as the state of harmony within i can understand this is not naturally acceptable for last last month on 18th of may only she expired and um, it's very difficult to come out of that yes see for that only no we are exploring it <clears throat> proactively so one thing that we are trying to explore in exercise 1 is the feeling part when you go to exercise 2 we are trying to observe the coexistence of self and body and we can see that body is a temporary unit today it is there tomorrow it may not be there and that is always you know, different from the body different from the self so self and body are two different things and they are coexisting death essentially means that no longer the transaction is taking place between the self and the body so okay. the only difference is that presently the transaction is taking place you know sometime later the transaction is not taking place so i can see very much within me that body is temporary for every human being who is around me also the body is temporary once i am able to see it clearly then i am in a better position to observe a relation of self and self ji hai na with my spouse with my child with my parents with my brothers and sisters with my friends so okay. now i mean you uh, know so i am i have become more observant about the presence of self ji so yes so if you do that thing within yourself you try to explore it then we are already prepared for that that yes i am going to be there my relative is also going to be there as a self in continuity only that the transaction that i am having between me and my body may not continue the transaction that he or she is having with the body may not continue and the transaction that we are having through the body may not continue that's all so that is always there that is there for every human being Okay. So now when I am able to see this, I am able to better relate myself to the other selves, and I start complementing the other in terms of developing the right understanding and right feeling. Okay. Able to see the true fulfillment of relationship. Generally, we try to fulfill the relationship either in terms of physical facilities or, you know, in terms of fulfilling the needs of the body, right, or through some sharing. of our current state of being but okay. that is not actually complementing any relationship the complementary part in the relationship is developing the right understanding right feeling in myself as well as the other so when i am able to see this clearly every moment right i can see the relation of self and self so every moment i am participating with the other self with that understanding only which is not the case at the moment okay that's why you feel at a loss ji it is taking more time that i have ever expected i was thinking i was having misconception that i will come out of it easily and uh, i can see the relationship between self and self i can understand that body is not permanent even then uh most of the time i feel that i am suppressing my feelings and uh, try to uh, ignore or divert my attention from that instead of connecting with that self fine didi so it is generally the case we all you know we start with lack of competence gradually become competent we all have to go through this kind of situation you know ji so in every family birth and death is taking place so that is something which is there for every family and if we start looking at the reality proactively then we can be better resolved in all these situations ji ji yeah that's uh, my uh, question or you can say i want some more clarification uh, with respect to the present discussion which went with vidu that's when uh, self is associated with body and now it is disassociated and the another self like didi who is there presently the self is associated with her the is there any possibility of having a communication between 
the departed soul with the existing soul can you throw more light over it bhaiya there is no need for that as such bhaiya basically <clears throat> the people with whom i am living if i am able to rightly relate with them i am able to compliment them in terms of developing that right understand right feeling so i am able to see that yes i have played my role satisfactorily otherwise the way we are transacting at the moment with others the same kind of transaction we like to have with the self who is not there with the body how will it help the other so it's you know better to fulfill the relationship every moment in place of lamenting for something and then trying to do it by some other means at some later point of time so having accomplished step 4 now we can go to step 5 so we are able to see that i am responsible for my feeling i am deciding my feeling then i can go and further see what is the basis for this decision so we are able to see in step 4 that it is i the self who is deciding the feeling that i have at this moment now i am trying to find out the basis on which i am deciding my feeling my thought so what is the basis on which i decide my feeling my thought is it right understanding or some assumption in the absence of right understanding when i decide my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding i am able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me that is it is natural and then i am remaining comfortable i am in harmony i am in a state of happiness within when i decide my feeling thought on the basis of assumption some preconditioning it is not definite which feeling i decide for a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me or an otherwise feeling my state is indefinite comfortable or uncomfortable in harmony or in contradiction in a state of happiness or unhappiness so from this i can see the need for right understanding and i can and the need for deciding my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding independent of whether everything outside is fine or not fine so as a conclusion you know i am able to see the need for developing the right understanding in me because it is me who is responsible for my unhappiness and i basically aspire to be happy every moment so i have to develop the competence in me so i try to trace the reason for my unhappiness so am i deciding on the basis of right understanding or some assumption about the reality so this is something that we'll start observing now yesterday evening uh, i was there on the terrace because uh, inside the room it was very hot so i was getting cool breeze on the terrace i went there and came down after one hour and uh, when i entered my wife told me something and uh, i could not hear properly so after that i asked what it is then she flared with that yes you are spending time alone always uh, and uh, you are not attentive so you cannot hear so please be attentive then he she told that yes you are using the headphone and all that always and so therefore your hearing capacity has come down and <laughs> so you are you are not able to hear so immediately i reacted i told that where is where is the headphone now i am not using now why you are telling this but she was not feeling well at this and immediately in the in next moment i i gave a smile and uh, i tried to change this uh, circumstance but it was in in, in the, on her part it was not immediately so after that it it went uh, all normal so it is that after that i thought that yes why should i should not have reacted like that and i resolved by that and everything now okay so this was my some experience today evening thank you nice nice <laughs> so this has become a common issue like when we are attending the morning session regularly for one hour every day 
so the family members are getting reactive so we have to see yeah, like, yeah. we have to talk to them and then we can say that yes this one hour you can spare and whatever task you have for me just let me know and uh-huh. try to do it beforehand uh uh-huh. yes it was a daily uh, day to day like uh, i got a message of my one of the colleague uh, about whom uh, uh, from the actually this is my uh, more than 15th year at beauty mesa so uh, initially i was very fond of her means uh, i have learned a lot from her but uh, oh, but uh, i am able to see that in such a such way in last few years that i am i i have developed a feeling of opposition to her though i am not occasionally occasionally means uh, expressing it i am uh, trying to live with the responsibility but i could see now here that <laughs> there is inside uh, an opposition uh, though i uh, could find the answer to this step 5 that uh she is also evolving uh, she is also uh, i mean uh there bhaiya uh, matlab i could get the answer that this was my uh, preconditioning that uh, uh, if the, it if this is this message is uh, if some message has been came from that madam then obviously this some negative things will be there but <laughs> it's my preconditioning i can understand say, uh she is also getting changed uh uh i have uh, uh, noticed and in fact uh, is uh, i think in the eight batch i have told about uh, her only uh, some uh, at some point of time that i just want to ignore her okay you are doing that keep doing <laughs> i matlab i i don't care for but uh, certainly uh, i mean a uh, bit time uh, since with time she is also getting changed so uh, i think i got my answer mujhe mera yahi tha prashn tha ki mere andar jo opposition ki feeling aa rahi hai main usko kaise dur karu matlab internal opposition jo aa jata hai i got it ki meri preconditioning hai thank you very much for giving me so now i can see the need for developing the right understanding so first of all i have to question myself again i do not start by assuming that this is lack of right understanding i will try to see what is there inside me so i became unhappy and i can see that i am responsible for my unhappiness i decided for the feeling which is not acceptable to me naturally so from where did i get this feeling what assumption i am carrying within so is this feeling based on right understanding of my relationship with the other or with any physiochemical thing of the participation in that situation or based on some assumption so we have to keep on observing this you know this is something that we have to spend time and when you go to uh, observe the basis for your decision making then you can see a whole lot of assumptions that you are carrying within it could be alarming for you also because it may be the case that i have not understood anything i am just assuming things about the reality okay so in spite of all the education that we have got i do not have right understanding the reality of any part of it it may be the case i am just getting some information from the body i am analyzing i am concluding but the understanding is missing and when i am concluding also i am making some assumptions inside me about which i am unclear for example now that we are exploring we can say that yes human being is coexistence of self and body but generally if i just look at the way the whole education is going on the whole the people are looking at things so from my eyes i can see things with shape and size which are material right the body is also material so i can see the material things and i can assume the human being also as being material the whole existence as being material now i am carrying this assumption inside me and deciding everything for myself for my interaction with others and i am unaware of that so i have to look closely into you know 
whether my decision is based on right understanding or some assumption. I have to look closely into this. Then only I can be in a position to work for right understanding. Right? If it is already based on right understanding, it will be fulfilling for me. If not, then it will not be fulfilling for me. So I have to look into the basis, open-ended way, in an open-ended way. So on what basis I am deciding something for me? On what basis I am getting opposed? What is the assumption we need? On what basis I am getting anxious? What is the assumption underlying it? So nice, we'll keep discussing about step five further. We have just started the discussion. So we conclude the English session now because it's time now.